Hi guys, so today's video we are going to take a look at signage in mod 13 latest build for the Galaxy S4. So let's just check it out. So the change log has the uh, like doesn't carry a much of difference than the uh, like previous builds, but it has some, uh, more of a battery uh, bug fixes. And sorry if my background is too bright. The Galaxy S7 is like aperture thing makes it too bright uh, even when the HDR is off because it has like live HDR which we can use it with a uh, video recording. So it becomes too bright in the background. It's just putting. It's overall a very stability update and uh, it has uh, become from like alpha to the beta. Uh, like beta. Sorry. <laughs> a month back I guess. So as you can see. Just me connecting the Wi-Fi. There you go. It must be connecting. Okay. No, I don't want my cellular data. I don't know why this part. Okay, this part takes a whole lot of time. It uh, just doesn't make sense. I if I want to skip, I will. I will be skipping it. Sorry for that. But <laughs> still, okay. Got another device? Nope. I don't know. It may be faster in the nougat because uh, the nougat is a very like uh, higher update since the material design has been announced with the lollipop because it has a new notification panel, a new set of UI and optimization in terms of battery, app openings, like everything, the ARM and uh, like uh, core of the Android because it will ha be having like some what you call uh, daydream. Okay, so the daydream will uh, enable like VR. And let me just tell you, this is a very like 2013 device which, which becomes almost like 3 year old device and still I use VR on this and it is very awesome thing cause uh, there was, are some exposed modules which are for smoothing of the gyroscope filter and the experience is much better than my S7 edge which I am recording right now can't just becomes very bright okay as you can see my message and it has detected a new so the <laughs> thing has been lagged over here okay let's just move on okay so new browser i guess signage in mode browser cuz no still same it's not green in color and much faster right now i didn't know they have a new browser okay so this is the option thing desktop side oh it's a very feature packed actually pretty cool stuff sorry for the focusing issues my well, lighting is very awkward and the app opening times pretty mediocre not very much if you start using this rom it will be much slower and it just did something uh, pretty awkward as you know it's still in beta and the everything just went off what the hell let's just uh, take a move on settings about phone which security patch do we have july 5 so we are not like this is the exynos it will be not with the quad quad router quad router vulnerability vulnerable it's like 1 a.m in the morning and i can't like record right now <laughs> still like that. marshmallow nothing much to check out let's check out the camera I don't know what's happening. Let's just reboot it once. Pretty awkward. Well, it took a very long to reboot, which is like awkward because the first boot with the setup took uh, nothing much, but it just almost took 30 seconds to reboot. I don't know why. The clock is also bugged off right now because it doesn't like it took very much time, but it's still, still stuck on on the last minute. Now just disable the Wi-Fi. Overall the UI is smooth cause I've used like very laggy devices with stock android so this uh, experience is actually very smoother to me nothing much just stability but <laughs> as you can see you can't use it for a daily use uh, everything just went bugged off before I booted oh too many apps in that package screen record is also present with the signage and mod music 11 
yep still the same nothing much very smooth browser is only the new thing i guess let's check out the okay sorry camera i'll have tag your friends no works pretty fine also the picture quality is much better maybe the preview is better but it's shaky wow it may not seem in the camera but it's very shaky you can see the whole blow over there it's very shaky i don't know why maybe i'm just used to the ois in my new phone the pictures are very blurry sorry for that <laughs> as you can see the stock camera has a very nice uh, effect but this is just crap on the 13 megapixel set it looks nice in the preview but it's just crap when you took a photo let's check out the front camera and there is my awkward setup <laughs> this is my via and this is the phone i'm actually using to record so let's just get on and nothing much to show just a stock android i will cuz i don't know why but uh, many of you guys told me to check out the latest one as you can see the advanced display has been added over here scenario ui many of those like amoled <laughs> things can be triggered through here because if you go into advanced display i just noticed if you select for ui it will sharpener uh, sharpen everything which would happen in if you just enter the gallery in the st uh, stock lollipop sorry for my english display just pretty much the uh, stock stuff nothing new and for ending let's just flash <laughs> the new nexus launcher over here the power off to end of this video sorry guys if i didn't show you much cuz there's nothing much to see if you want to see the installation and previous reviews i just click the i button over here it will be there i will just link it to the installation of this video galaxy s4 god damn Three years with this device. That's hefty battery backup. Which this like one and one point eight hours is the battery backup which I used to get this with device with no, like no gaming, and with power saving always on. And now I use a S7 Edge. I game it a lot and like play Pokemon Go a lot, and it still gives me a seven sorry not seven but six and a half hours of battery backup without power saving mode. It's just a total beast. Just flash that. Reboot the system. So the device has been booted up, and let's just check out the, our new launcher from the Android N, which has been leaked from the new like what I just forgot the name of the new project the Google has with the Nexus lineup. Let's just select our new Nexus launcher, and there we go. I don't know where my these apps are. If you want to check out a pure video of this launcher, uh, I will also leave a link uh, in the top right. Uh, top right. Where is my hand? Okay, <laughs> top right corner over here. I'm just used to my old camera, but it's very smooth actually. No lag at all. If you have a very hefty device, it would wouldn't lag. But if you have something a Snapdragon 410, it would lag actually. Nothing to tell lie about. But it's just very fast and smooth on this device. Let's just apply some random wallpaper because it comes with a very nice wallpaper setup. On device wallpapers, wallpapers, no wallpaper, live wallpaper on device. Okay, so we get only the stock wallpapers, I guess. But new wallpaper pickup, uh, pick up, pick up. I don't know what's wrong with my tongue. there we go so guys thanks for watching this was my review for the cyanogen mod 13 latest build on the galaxy s4 i9 500 and sorry <laughs> if this uh, video was not uh, very awesome cause i don't know why what to review in this it's just very old to me and sorry for that but if you want to know the installation for this i will leave a link in the description so guys thanks for watching peace
and don't forget to subscribe